So the Federal Reserve just reduced the uh, federal funds interest rate, but that does not mean that automatically the 30-year mortgage rates are going to decline. They have been on the decline, but apparently they have suddenly hit the brakes. We're going to talk about that and more here on the October housing market update for San Diego. My name is Clemens Ruas with the Romero Ruas Group at Berkshire Hathaway, and here we go. All right, so interest rates actually went up from last month. Uh, today, we're sitting at around 6.53% for a 30-year fixed mortgage, where at the same time last year, we're at 6.38%. You see a sharp increase today. That was because today they released a jobs number, and they were better than expected. So um, also around middle of September, somewhere around here, uh, the Federal Reserve decreased their Federal Reserve rate by 0.5 or half a point. So you can see that that does not automatically mean that there's going to be a half a point decrease on the 30 year fixed rate. We actually saw an increase from then. And uh, but we believe that the interest rates will keep co coming down from um, towards the end of the year and hopefully into the next summer. Uh, the hope is that it'll be around the five and a half or even low fives. Uh, but we'll see about that. But compared to October 4th, 2024, we were at 7.69. So we are still way less, about roughly more than 1%, uh, less than what we were last year. Inventory also declined about 7.95%. Compared at the same time last year, same period, we saw an increase of 2.7%. Now, last year was a little bit of a weird year because inventory kind of, usually it uh, tends to come down after the summer months, but here it lasted until November. That's when we really saw a, a decline in the inventory. Uh, compared to this year lo looks more like a, a kind of a regular cyclical year where we have this falling off after the summer months but however we are still 13.9 percent uh, higher in inventory than we were last year sales uh same thing usually cyclical year they sales tend to fall on off after the summer months um about 8.7 percent form last month uh, compared to the same time last year we saw a 12 percent drop so even a heavier drop last year and uh, we are, however, about 13.9% higher in sales than we were last year. Uh, prices, they actually declined a little bit, 4.7%. I, I thought it was going to be the opposite, or who knows? Uh, maybe it's still uh, next month's reading. Might, we might see an increase because of the lower interest rates. Um, but uh, we'll see. We're at $592 a square foot for a single-family detached home for San Diego County. But at the same time last year, we didn't see a change at all. We kind of maintained our levels around $565 a square foot. But we are, however, still about 4.7% higher in prices than we were last year. Now, uh, market time. Market time actually also increased a little bit, about 18% to around 26 days, average days on the market. So compared to the same time last year, we were sitting around 20 um, and we didn't really see a change uh, from then. Again, if uh, interest rates fall, fall off and the inventories keep coming down, I think we can see this number um uh, de decrease for the average days on the market um we are how we are however 30 percent higher in market time than we were last year difference between the sales to list the list sales price ratio we actually saw a decline to about 98 percent from the list of the sales price ratio uh, that is down from last month at 98.7 and let down from last year that we're at 99.8 so again if inventory continues to fall and interest rates continue to fall I think this number will probably pick back up. But as it looks right now, it's still a little bit of a buyer's market depending on the area that you're in. Obviously, each market is different. Every price point is different. So uh, obviously, you're going to have more competition on the lower ranges. Anything from a million down, you're definitely going to have more competition. Um, luxury sales, we also saw a decline around 12%. That's These are properties over $2 million. However, uh, we are 48% higher in sales than we were last year. Uh, luxury inventory, we also saw a decrease about 8.6%, and we are about 7.6% higher than we were last year. And um, yeah, again, thank you very much for watching this real estate market update for October. And uh, if you have any questions or want to track your home's value, it's www.mysandiegovalue.com. You can connect with us uh, on social media using this uh, QR code. And if, again, if you have any questions or want to reach out, please don't hesitate to do so. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you on next month.